Roland, I want to talk about uh, another product we have. It's called Youth Design. It sounds exciting just hearing. Just hearing. It. Feel yeah, younger especially, already. Especially me. I mean, look at these old gray. You're 116. Hairs. You That's look really great. good. I know. Yeah. I look really good for 116. Um, it's called Youth Design. It's superoxide dismutase and catalase. So two antioxidant enzymes. Different category, different conversation. So let's first talk about superoxide dismutase. So each cell has its own internal defense systems and we have three very internal, sorry, very powerful internal antioxidants. Superoxide dismutase being one of the first ones is quite possibly one of the most powerful um, inducers of antioxidant response to free radicals. So a free radical is essentially a renegade oxygen molecule. It's something that, imagine you're, you have a, a, a soft structure and you have a little BB or a little you know, metal bead bouncing around. Everything it touches, it will cause damage to. Excessive free radicals floating around in the cell create rust. So superoxide dismutase is one of the greatest ways of intervening with those free radicals to prevent the rusting of our internal biological tissues or organelles in the cell. And superoxide dismutase has a very closely tied relationship with catalase, as you mentioned, and glutathione peroxidase. And when certain free radicals are introduced in the system, very powerful inducers of oxidative stress, they work in a network. So superoxide dismutase might, might intercept a molecule, convert it to a what's called activated intermediate. We'll pass that intermediate to another antioxidant, which will convert it to something harmless called water. So we'll be able to neutralize free radicals, create something called hydrogen peroxide, and then the next enzyme will have the ability to convert that hydrogen peroxide to two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, and that's actually a way to hydrate the cell rather than damage it. Than damage it. And one of the interesting things about catalase is that catalase can take hydrogen peroxide. It can take a million molecules of hydrogen peroxide and convert it in one second. But catalase is very susceptible to stomach acid. It is. All of these antioxidant enzymes are. They're meant to be um, intracellularly constructed from raw materials that are typically amino acids and, and mineral cofactors. You know, you can have copper zinc superoxide mm -hmm. dismutase or iron sulfur, something of that nature. Glutathione is actually formed from three amino acids, glutamine, glycine, and cysteine, with cysteine being the rate limiting step. However, if you can extract these antioxidants from a very high quality source and you can encapsulate them and protect them from the harsh environments of the upper GI system, you can allow for the deep delivery for their ability to be released into the small or large intestine, possibly to enter general circulation because when someone's internally oxidized, which is always correlated with inflammation, immune activation, and mitochondrial dysfunction, they're probably burning through antioxidant enzymes faster than they can synthesize. So go back to that BB analogy, things are bouncing around their cells that are wreaking havoc, and there's no way to clean off the rust. So what happens with metal when it gets excessively rusty? It's integrity weakens. So what we're trying to do with a product like Youthzyme is when you're young, you have these antioxidant systems working in robust order. Right. They're very powerful because our nutrient status is good, our immune system is healthy, our energy level is incredible. As we age, we lose the ability to produce these things, and I'll be honest, the environment we live in is not necessarily conducive to being antioxidized you know, when we want it to. So utilizing superoxide dismutase and catalase is a really good adjunct to other antioxidant support strategies that might include sulforazine and NAC. And when someone's really, really inflamed or really oxidized as a result of a degenerative condition, an immune condition, an inflammatory response like leaky gut and metabolic endotoxemia, if those things have gone on for long enough, you need to assist the body's ability to knock off that rust so it's an internal healing process that can take place, mm -hmm. and we can eventually find a way back to that concept we've been talking about all days, homeostasis. Because only there can we manifest health in its optimal state. Thank you, Roland. This has been a lot of fun. You too, Jeff. Thanks.